Hello everyone. In this screencast you're going to learn how to start using the highlighting feature and the sticky note feature for doing your research and taking notes on Digo. The first step is you need some credible sources to work with. How do you find that? Well, there's lots of ways. One of the ways is you can come over to the wiki, look in the navigator, in the folder resources and how to do stuff. And you see this page called ebooks and other resources. If you click on that page, you will see um, there are some um, very interesting things that I've got there for you. One of them is an encyclopedia of uh, psychology. And uh, this is, it's not navigating there, but in any case, let me just show you. I've got the page right here. Encyclopedia of Psychology. There are so many really wonderful um, resources here in this on this site check it out from here I found this article about self-efficacy which just really means uh, feeling confident and believing in your own capabilities and from this uh, site here um, I discovered a real gem and that is this article here that I want to show you that is written by uh, Albert Bandura himself who's a big name in um, in social psychology and in, uh, in how we learn. Um, and so I started reading it and I started highlighting it. And so how do you do that? Well, so you're on your, your web page uh, or your source. And un unfortunately, this won't work if the web page is a PDF file. It's got to be um, an HTML or another kind of... Um, uh, a web page. And so I'm on my web page and I'm reading his article here. And so the first thing I need to do is I need to uh, sign into Digo. So I just click on my applet. And here you see that this bookmark icon is already indicated. It says it's red. That's because I've already bookmarked it. And so I'm going to highlight, say, I'll just do a section for you here. All right, so I love this line here. We're one to embark on the slippery slope of reductionism. The journey would take one through biology, chemistry, and eventually, in the end, subatomic particles. And so I'm not going to explain what uh, reductionism means uh, in any detail, except that it just means that you, you take everything about human beings and you make it reducible to biology. And so, for example, you would make love... Um, explainable or reducible to neurochemical reactions in your brain. And so I want to highlight that sentence, so I'm going to click on highlighter. I can choose the color that I want, and let's say I'm going to choose not yellow, because I've done yellow before, but I, I want to choose blue, because for me, blue is going to mean really important. So I highlight it here in blue, and now I'm going to put a sticky note on it, and you see, if you, if you hover over what you just highlighted, a little pencil comes up. Click on that little pencil and click on Add Sticky Notes. And I'm going to write here the dangers of reducing all of human experience to biology. And I'm not going to bookmark it to any group. I'm going to keep it private because it belongs in my own library and then I'm going to post it. Then I see I have a number up here. So if I look back at the page that I've highlighted, I have several sticky notes here and here and all the way down the page. And that means that when I am out, when I'm not signed into uh, Deco, let's say if I were to uh, sign out and then come back to this page, let me just refresh this page and hopefully it works there. So when I refresh this page and come back to it, I see there's nothing on it. But if I want to remember, now wait a minute, I took some notes on this page, just sign back into Digo, and all of my highlighting comes up along with the sticky notes and what I wrote to remind myself. And of course my writing is paraphrasing. So this is going to be the end of part one and I'll do a very quick part two um, and you can watch that to help you out.